My name's Ben Happ and I'm a physiotherapist and exercise physiologist with Ferris Care. Aged care physio was always, I guess, in the back of my mind. I, um, my grandmother had a stroke when I was a young boy and I spent a lot of time uh, in and around a nursing home looking after her and I think uh, I saw uh, a lot of people there that I thought could um, you know, benefit from some extra help. Ah, good morning, Fleur. A typical client I might see is someone like Fleur, who um, she's just finished a, a Forever Young program with me, so I've been spending uh, time with her over the last eight weeks in a group setting. And um, this follow-up visit is really just going in to reassess the, the outcome measures that we took right back at the start of the program, just to see what improvements she's been able to make. Ready, set, go. It's a really motivating thing if you can show people that, yes, you've had some fun with movement. That's it, perfect but look at all this fantastic results from it. It's, it's a really good pat on the back for people for their hard work and it often gives them the kickstart they need to be able to keep going. Strength was your big improver. So this is the one I was really excited to see. Thankfully, um, the people I get to see, I mean, they really are genuinely appreciative for your help. So, um, you know, they, they want you to come back. They, they want you to have that long-term relationship with them and um, they are just genuinely appreciative. So it's a fantastic environment to work in. We've recently moved back to Coffs only six months ago when the opportunity came up with Ferros Care with some funding. You can crack a bit of this one and this one your hand. No? My wife and I grew up in Coffs Harbour. We actually uh, went to preschool together, believe it or not, and um, our family still lives here on the, the north coast. Go get the chooks out of bed. And we've got ourselves an, an acre of land out there, which is perfect for raising three young boys. Come on, Dad. All right, I'm coming. Room for the chickens, the trampoline, and all the uh, tools and toys, so uh, it's been great fun. Wake up time. Wake up, girls. Time for breakfast. Typically, you know, my mornings involve getting my family ready for their day, so helping my kids get ready for school, for example. And then once that's all taken care of, then I can start to focus on what I need to do. So typically I've done a little bit of preparation the night before. Um, you know, I've got my rosters organised. I know who I'm going out to see that day. And um, I've got a bit of a plan in mind of what I want to achieve within that day. A great flexible environment. Um, obviously you can um, fit the work in around busy lifestyle. So for this stage of life I'm at, I really find that now this is perfect for our setup. Um, and it's just a matter of using technology to connect with people when you need to. I then um, head off on the road typically around the 8.30 mark um, to see a client at 9 o'clock to start the day and um, just travelling all over the beautiful north coast here. So anywhere from Grafton down to Urunga is my typical run. It can be a combination of um, home visits where I might be seeing up to six, seven, eight people in a day depending on how well the the rosters coordinated with the travel um, and then I also um, get a chance to provide these groups so the Forever Young group is something that I really enjoy delivering which um, you know I might see two or three groups over a week. Breathing in. Last one. And the Forever Young program is something that's been in development for a number of years, um, probably about five years now and uh, actually it goes right back to one of my first placements I did at university which was in an aged care setting and we were given the challenge of um, you know, structuring an exercise class for everyone to do. And we thought, oh, what's something that we can add to this to sort of jazz it up a bit? And of course we thought, well, why don't we coordinate some movement to music? We'll bring those hands back to the hips and we're gonna go into a little heels up movement. So it's just a little kick of the heel. And it went down really well. Everyone really enjoyed it. And um, you could see people's faces lighting up and you know, remembering their Step. The lyrics to these songs and um, just having Looking a bit good. of fun as they go. So Forever Young really was born out of that, um, you know, combining fun with fitness and then trying to add in all the different elements that make up fitness. So we've got the cardiovascular, the flexibility, strength and balance all rolled into one program, which wasn't out there. It was really a niche that needed to be filled. Last one to go here, pressing away, taking the tension out of the band and then unwrapping. Good start. The benefit that we're seeing for the people that go through it is, is fantastic. They make some really good achievements and uh, most importantly, they're having some fun. 
thing I love most about my role is, is the characters I get to meet. Um, you know, I, uh, I meet people that have been on the planet a lot longer than I have and they have some really interesting bits of advice. So we're off to see a, a lovely lady, she's very cheeky, she's um, in her 99th year which I'm sure she'll tell us all about and uh, uh, her name's Emma and she's delightful and uh, we've been working together on just keeping her mobility so it's really just the basics here, you know, being able to get in and out of bed, in and out of chairs, walking around her unit and um, that means the world to her so that she can still get out and enjoy catching up with friends when she likes. How are you today, Emma? I'm fairly well, considering that I'm 99. Oh, I think you're doing very well. We're getting, getting on no. my next birthday. I tend to learn a lot more from them than I would impart in a day. And uh, look, they've just got really good stories and um, good humour and are really genuinely uh, appreciative of the help they get. How many of those do you think you could do? 100. 100, all right, <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> Cheeky. So <laughs> Yeah, so I get the, an opportunity to spend about half an hour with Emma each week mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's been great just to see her keep her wonderful mobility, you know. For 98 she puts a lot of 65 year olds to shame. And what do you think of Ben, Emma? Mm? What do you think of Ben? Ben? I, I love him. <laughs> I only wish I was a teenager. Oh, look out, you <laughs> cheeky thing. He, he was single. Hey, look out. <laughs> Uh, Make a blush. Uh, okay, all right there. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> With aged care, it was very unique. I mean, it's very genuine in that um, you're helping people that are desperately in need. You know, you can see the impact of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you're helping people to be able to maintain their ability to get in and out of chairs, in and out of bed. You know, things that we take for granted. And there should be more people that are really passionate about wanting to help. Um, the elderly to be able to do the things they love to do. Aged care is really the, the, the future of healthcare. I mean, with the baby boomer generation moving on now, there's going to be such a huge demand of people that are genuinely wanting to keep their health and fitness into later life so they can stay at home. If I had to build my own job, this would be the one I'd build. And, and, and look, it's the people, it's the, the fantastic clients that I get to see each day that um, just make you want to roll up your sleeves and get stuck into it.